Hello internet friends. In this video I am continuing work on the firewall. Um, there's a few things left to do, uh, mostly rivets. So in the last video I used 3M Fire Barrier 2000 to seal uh, where these Quicos are now. Uh, now it's time to take the Quicos off and um, attach some of the firewall angles, which are braces. Basically just big pieces of aluminum that will add strength to the firewall. Now this is kind of annoying because <laughs> I have to take all of these Quicos off in order to put on this piece of metal here. So, uh, and again, it's I primed it so uh, even though it doesn't touch the steel firewall, because this actually goes on top of another angle, uh, I might as well prime it because I've been priming everything. So, it takes, you know, not that long to achieve that. Uh, and then the plans also say because there's like three or four or five layers of metal, uh, it's possible that. Um, you know, when you stick a rivet through the hole, that something's misaligned. So it says just match drill anything that needs match drilling uh, so you can get the rivet in there. Okay, and in a minute when we start riveting, I have a tip that's going to help us. Um, and I, I had noticed this previously on a similar situation where I had to rivet the gusset. Uh, and there's like two layers of metal and layers is there's like a step like you know There's a rivet and then a, another piece of metal and you're gonna see when I turn this around um, That what I'm talking about those gusset there. So uh, there's three or five rivets that sh You probably want to rivet before you put the gusset on Because once you put the gusset on it's going to be hard to get this a squeezer or a rivet gun back there to uh, rivet those um, rivets that are lower than the gusset. So, and of course I messed one up, so I had to drill that. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so my recommendation is do the bottom tip um, rivets first, then put the gusset on and you'll have an easier time riveting that on. Of course, if you're not building an RV-14 or similar airplane, then you have no idea what I'm talking about, but um, feel free to watch along because, um, you know, you can enjoy other people's frustrations and figuring it out, and that that's part of the fun, right? Like, I enjoy watching videos of people crashing on bikes because uh, that's part of the fun, right? Yeah, I live vicariously through their pain. Okay, and I did managed to flip the camera around a few times while I was working on this just so we could get different angles um, and you could see what I was doing. Uh, and about halfway through I realized a better uh, method for riveting here. Although, you know what? Uh, I don't think it would have worked on these gussets because the rivets are too close together. In the next video you'll see that I actually figured out that I could back rivet these uh, rivets. And the little small tungsten bucking bar is perfect for that. But uh, again, we'll see that, I think, in the next video. And if you hear children screaming in the background, well, um, welcome to parenthood. That's what my house sounds like all day long. Well, except for when the kids are at school. Thank goodness. Um, but yeah, nine more years, and then uh, I will ha have an empty nest. Not that I'm counting down or anything like that. Okay, now uh, looking at the back of this is reminding me that uh, I need to buy a paint sprayer so I can use my Jetflex and start painting stuff. So uh, I had been, it seems a popular one is the 3M AccuSpray. And it seems pretty cool because it has replaceable uh, heads, I guess is what the term is. I'm not a painter. I'm learning all this stuff for the first time. Uh, but yeah, so apparently, you know, you can spray it and cleaning out the head is a giant pain, but with the AccuSpray, you just throw it away and pop on a new one. They're, they're like five bucks. So that sounds convenient to me. So I'm going to try out that one. Um, let's see. Do I have any updates or announcements? Um, let's see. Update. 
I signed up for a carbon fiber class. Uh, the Dark Arrow guys, uh, if you haven't seen Dark Arrow, just Google Dark Arrow. Uh, it's an all carbon fiber airplane. But uh, those guys are putting on a uh, carbon fiber workshop in January. So I'm going to that. So I'm excited for that. What is it? A month, two months, month and a half, something like that away from now. It's the last week of January, I think. So looking forward to doing that. And then I guess I'll figure out how to make some carbon fiber parts for the airplane while I'm waiting for the wings to show up. Uh, I don't know when that is. When did I order them? January? Maybe January. No, maybe June, because it was when I got the fuselage. So yeah, who knows when I'm going to get uh, get my wings. But there's tons to do till then, so I, I'm sure I can keep busy. Okay, and I'm not going to lie, using the swivel set, which you can't see me doing here, uh, is a giant pain because of the contour of the firewall top where it meets the firewall sides. So, uh, like I said, in the next video you'll see I came up with a better method. Oh yeah, and then I broke off a um, <laughs> drill bit trying to drill out a rivet that I messed up, and I had to drill it out from the back. That's always precarious. So... Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want to come chat RVs and participate in the Wall of Shame, the link is in the description to join our Slack group. See you in the next video.